Yeah. When did you get back? Uh, late Monday night. Yeah. So, I've been back for a few Well, years. congratulations. I mean, that was quite something, wasn't it? I mean, Thank I've you. watched that again and again, that last 50 metres. I mean, where on earth did that come from, that? I haven't watched it yet. I can't wait to watch it back. I, th I thought you were, I mean, to be honest, I, th I thought there's no way back for you. Yeah. How, how, are you, how are you feeling? You obviously feel. Um, I just kind of was trying. I was in control, kind of a lot of the way. I knew where she was. It was good because she was in the next lane, so I could see where she yeah. was. And obviously, I kept breathing that way to kind of keep an eye on her. And then the last fifty, all I kept thinking about was holiday. To be honest, so I was just yeah. like, I finished after this. It's kind of just give it that extra little push and just work. Just kind of put your head down and go. Really, it was just as simple as that. Just kind of just do it. <laughs> Do you think it is a, is a mental thing? I mean, obviously you're physically in great shape, but there must be something more than just... just it must be sheer determination, mustn't it? To, to yeah, say, definitely. I think physically you're tired. I mean, physically, me and her were probably in exactly the same situation. It was just... We your shoulder both, was hurting, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, shoulders hurt and your arms are hurting. You're, yeah. you're going max for a long time. Your body is struggling, but it's just a case of just literally trying to do as much as you can like literally all I kept thinking about was come on this is the last right give it everything like you've got nothing to lose just go and it was just a case of that and she obviously because she was winning most of the way she probably just thought she was going to win it so she was had a mm. different mindset to me really yeah 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 and and it must have been a real relief because the world championships haven't always I mean obviously the Olympics made you and yeah. it sort of changed your life completely I'd imagine so that yeah. you're now doing this it's made you a kind of global superstar but there was always that thing, there was that nagging doubt was in the back of your mind that you... Yeah, like, world, um, obviously I got two bronze medals last time, so I was so glad to better that, to be honest, just to show that I'm improving and I'm getting better, really, and um, it was just, it was a tough week in general, like, the 400 was a tough race, but, and I got into the eight, but it was just nice, it has given me a lot of confidence going into next year, and which is a nice little thing to kind of have now. Yeah, yeah. Um... Talk to me about, about the Cadbury's still. I mean, obviously, you've got, you were yesterday you were doing British Gas, today it's Cadbury's. I mean, obviously, this is a real sort of change for you from being in the being in the pool, but uh, yeah. what is the Cadbury's initiative all about? Uh, the minute to win it, minute it's, to win it yeah. it's just such a good one. I'm so glad that kind of uh, everyone keeps saying, obviously, Cadbury being an Olympic sponsor. I love Cadbury's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I was going to talk to you about, about diet in a minute, but. Yeah, um, but it was just, it's such a good campaign. I think that's what's so good about Cadbury's is they are so passionate about playing games and being competitive, which I know all about, which is yeah, yeah. so nice. But the minute to win it is just a minute every day. I think it is one of those things that people forget to play sports and to play games. I think everybody's so busy in their work in life they sometimes forget that you kind of got to have a little bit of fun on the side as well also it's a bit back to basics it's not about sitting in front of a computer a computer game no. or shutting yourself off i mean we've we've done some games as a family my wife and my, my son yeah. uh and um it seems you know it just seems like a bit of fun like a back to yeah sort of traditional novelty, kind of games novelty games which yeah. is what is good about it and I think that's so important that you don't have to go out and buy something like a lot of games now they're either done on the computer or PlayStation or exactly. you have to go out and buy them where these ones are so simple that like you can just play them and you could do it with a big group like I think these would be massively funny if there was a massive group of you all trying to do it and I just think it would be so much fun yeah. I've played the games myself and I was like proper getting into them after a yeah, couple yeah, of goes yeah, yeah. like the first go you're a bit weary and then after that you just totally get into I, it and love them and are you a quite competitive person yes anyway yeah, yeah. Oh, Without a doubt, I'm competitive in every single Everything way. Everything you do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I love playing games and stuff like that. I'm not a sore loser. Like, I don't... Like, if I lose, I'm not going to go off in a strop or anything like yeah. that. I don't have a go. But it's just I am competitive. I do want to do well. And I do try and, like... Even with small games, I'm like, come on, I try and focus as much as I can. What's the one I saw you do? Is uh, lifting ducks out of a... Yeah, the flicking the duck. Flicking the duck yeah, 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 you have to have a duck in your mouth and you flick it behind your head and trying to get it in a uh, yeah. pool. But that was so much fun. The first few goes, I was awful, and then after that, I proper got into it and I did really well in the end. And I was like, yes, yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> so um, you said you like chocolate, but I'd imagine that you know because of who you are, you have to be very careful with diet. Do you? You know, you have to eat certain things and lots of calories. And chocolate, I wouldn't imagine, would be high up on your list of. 
Um, see, we're one of those that we have to eat quite a lot. We mm. have to make sure we're getting everything, all the vitamins, all the carbohydrates, all protein, iron, everything. So we do eat quite a lot. But I always have treats. Like, we work so hard yeah. and we're burning so much off that, like, sometimes the best thing for you is to have a chocolate bar, like, to get your glucose levels back up to yeah. what they were when you get out of the pool. And Glad you say that, because I always feel like eating chocolate after finishing swimming. No, you do. Like, your glucose levels go down so much because you burn so much mm. off that the best thing for you is probably to have a chocolate bar at yeah, times yeah, yeah. just to get them back up and get you normal again to be honest so yeah. I love I always I, I do have chocolate quite a lot I'm not yeah. going to try and deny it or say I don't but I absolutely well, love it well you're burning it off anyway so you're yeah. not, um, and, and the, the, I mean the training regime that you, 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 you I've seen interview after interview with you where you talk about the, the, the long hours I mean how do you carry on doing that year year, year after year? Is it just because you you are so competitive, you want to stay at the top. That you that that is a drive to get to get you out of bed. At, I mean, you must be yeah. getting out of bed at half past four or something, must you? Quarter past five. Yeah. But yeah, it is that. It's just doing something you genuinely love. Like I'm sure it happens with any other job in the world as well. Like a lot of other jobs, you have to travel or do something that necessarily you wouldn't want to do all the time. But because you love your job, you just do mm. it. You don't care. Like. I've never snoozed my alarm in my whole entire life. I get straight out of bed. Yeah. I want to do this. I want to. I don't find I have to sacrifice anything. I don't find it like a chore to do it. I just want to do it, and like it doesn't get that boring. Like I think people think that I just get in the pool on my own and swim up and down every day, but I don't. I have a team. I have a club. I have yeah. a coach. I have like the stuff to make it interesting. Yeah. You you don't do the same thing every day, and it, it, it's never like the same thing you're doing various drills and yeah exactly not just swimming and yeah I, I always wear a swim p3 player when i swim and just yeah. to, to alleviate the boredom a little bit but the, but i guess that you're, you're changing your pattern around and you're yeah we are obviously changing the, the how fast we're doing stuff the intensity the kind of length everything we we do very very differently but it's always good fun i have a great team and a great coach that always make it good fun yeah i interviewed bill a little while back yeah. actually yeah and he's been your coach for years and years, hasn't he? He's been my coach since I was uh, 13, so well, nine What age years. did you start to get into swimming? It must have been well before that. Yeah, I learnt swimming when I was four, joined yeah. a club about eight, and then from there. Yeah, so, so it's been non-stop. Non-stop, yeah. <laughs> since I was a teenager. And obviously, 2012, your your ambition there is to come away with two two goals, you in the 400 and the eight, 800. I've not qualified for London yeah. yet. Um, I don't qualify till March um, if I even do qualify. So to be honest, I'm not even You're looking. You're not even thinking about it. No. But that's, that, that'll be the first time in the Aquatic Centre, will it? Yeah. That, that, yeah, for the, uh, for the national championships yeah, next in, year. Yeah, in March. So yeah. Excited. Well, I, I wish you all the best for Thank that. Thank you very and, much. And uh, have a lovely break. And Thank when you, are you Bill. back in the pool? Is that a couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, about a week and a half, two weeks. When you go on, sorry, one last question. When you go on holiday, can you relax and swim in like a, an ordinary little pool? Or, yeah, you know. yeah, I don't swim on holiday. Yeah. Not at all, or you just go for a... Just go to cool down, that's yeah. it. <laughs> okay, thanks very much.